y'all. So today we are doing a leaner legs workout. This is my personal preference. Everybody has completely different preferences. You might want your legs to be a little more muscular, your thighs to be more muscular, or a little bigger. I'm just always striving to get that nice, lean, toned look. I also tend to accumulate fat in my thighs thanks to my Hispanic gene. Okay. Gracias. It is so important for them to be strong and defined, which is why if you are really skinny, you don't have any muscle on your legs, you should use weight. Don't be scared of using weight. Your muscles are not going to become like a bodybuilder's overnight. That just does not happen. So you can start off with a light weight and slowly work your way up from there. In order to have that definition and to have lean legs, you are going to have to grow a little bit of muscle just to get some kind of shape to them. And remember that for muscle growth, you need protein. Women's Best just came out with three new flavors for their protein bars and that raspberry crunch one. Oh my God. They're so good. I'm going to have one right now. You should strive to get most of your protein from real foods. Like you shouldn't depend on protein bars or protein shakes. But I know that it's easier said than done. And a lot of the times we're busy, we're running out the house. Or we just want something quick and easy after our workouts, which is why I love protein bars. And I love protein shakes. They also have three new flavors of their Fit Way Shake. It's so good. You will have to lose fat. You will have to do some hits, some cardio. You know, watch your calories, make sure you're in a caloric deficit. But I always have a little bit of protein after my workout to maintain my muscles because we don't want to lose our muscles in the process of trying to lean out and get toned. So I have a couple of exercises here that I'm going to take you through. Number one most important thing when it comes to lean legs and the number one thing that I think most people completely neglect are the cows. Cows? 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 I don't say it. I've seen people with really nice sculpted thighs and then they've got no calves. It's just like a straight line. No girl, what is he doing? It is so easy to work out your calves. You can do it from everywhere. Calves are very important. You should add it to every single leg workout. Some calf raises, add a little bit of weight and you can see some nice muscle growth. And calf raises, at least for me, they always get me so sore. Like immediately, oh my gosh. My calves are like still sore from a workout I did two days ago. If you have never done calf exercises before, I would suggest you try these without weight because these are no joke. Like they really, really burn. So to start off with the first exercise, we're gonna be doing 30 calf raises. So we're gonna start off with 10 calf raises facing forward. So you're gonna stand with your feet hip width apart and you're gonna go all the way up to the balls of your feet, come back down. Make sure you go nice and slow and controlled and make sure the weight is dispersed evenly between the inside and the outside of your foot. Then we're gonna go ahead and point our toes outward. And you're gonna go up to the walls of your feet, come back down. This works the inside of your calves. You should feel the burn there right away and make sure you go up to the walls of your feet. Most of your weight should be on the inside of your foot. During all of these, make sure you keep your core tight and your tailbone tucked in. And then finally, we're going to be doing 10 calf raises facing inward. So it's going to be kind of like a funny position. And you're going to go up to your tippy toes, making sure that your weight is on the outside of your feet. So it's kind of like on the outer part of the balls of your feet. So go up, all the way, come back down. You can hold on to a wall while you do this exercise. Just be really careful. Make sure you don't roll your ankle. Go nice and slow. And if you feel like you need to take a break, feel free to take a break. Next, we're gonna be doing 10 one-legged calf raises on each side. Now, this one burns like a mother <laughs> Hold on to a wall with your hand, and you're gonna go up to your tippy toes. You can just face your foot forward and come back down. This one is intense because it's basically one calf doing all the work. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. Let's do 10 to the other side. Again, try to keep your weight dispersed around the balls of your feet. Go nice and slow. And this is also amazing because it strengthens your ankles as well. I'm gonna add a few jumping exercises. I don't usually do a ton of these, but I always like to add at least a little bit because they really work your legs out like super intensely in a short period of time. And we are on a time crunch here, you know? We are busy girls, so 
Let's do the most effective thing we can. So we're gonna start off with 10 jumping squats. Go ahead and practice your form on the squats first. Drop your butt down low, keep your tailbone tucked in, your core tight, your weight should be on your heels. So once you've got the form and you're ready, go ahead and try adding a hop to it. Go nice and slow, nice and controlled. You don't wanna hurt yourself and you wanna make sure you're using the right muscles. So when you jump up, make sure you press up from your heel. And when you sit back down, make sure you go nice and low. You should feel your booty muscles flexing every time you jump up. Next, we're gonna be doing jumping lunges. I know these get a little tricky with the balance, so make sure you get the form down packed for a regular lunge first. These are alternating lunges, so go down into a lunge. This is a straight leg lunge, so your back leg is gonna stay more or less straight. Keep your weight in your heel, your butt should be sit back, your knees should not be passing your toes, your back is straight, core is tight, and you can hold onto a wall for balance, especially if you're a beginner and you're not used to doing these kind of exercises. So once you have the form down packed, you can go ahead and add a hop into it. So go down into a lunge. You can even hold onto the wall while you hop or just touch it lightly to keep you balanced. So you're gonna go down into a lunge, hop up and switch. So you're gonna do 20 in total alternating from one side to the next. Next up, we've got side lunges. These are not hopping, these are just regular lunges. So you're gonna stand with your feet pretty wide apart, like way wider than shoulder width. Making sure your weight stays in your heel, you're gonna go ahead and squat to the side, to one side. So we're gonna be doing 10 on each side. So make sure you go low and you keep your weight in your heel and keep your weight on the outside of your foot. So this works the outside of your thighs, the outside of your legs, and the outside of your butt as well. Go as low as you can, and you can definitely add weight to this one. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to the other side. So remember, go nice and slow. Don't forget your form. So keeping your weight in your heels, seat your butt back, and come back up to the middle. So go back and back up. Make sure your knees don't pass your toes, your upper body stays straight, and your tailbone tucked in. we're gonna be doing some sumo squats. These are amazing to target the inside of your thighs. So the inner thighs and kind of the inside of your legs. You're gonna get into a really wide sumo position, way wider than shoulder width apart. Your toes are gonna to be pointed outward and you're basically doing a plie, like a ballerina. Keeping your weight in your heels and make sure you really keep your tailbone tucked in and your upper body straight. So keep your core tight. So go down, back up. Try not to round or arch your back. We've got fire hydrants. I absolutely love, love this exercise. Basically, you get on your hands and knees and you're gonna go out, kick out to the side like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant, that's the name, come back in. So we're gonna be doing 20 on each side. So try to really get your leg up as high as you can, come back down and keep your upper body completely still. So the rotation should be coming from your hip. You should be using your glutes basically to put your leg up all the way and come back down. And this is especially awesome for the outer part of your thighs and your glutes. So now we can go ahead and go to the other side. So remember, bring your leg up as high as you can. Keep your core tight, your back straight. And you can take breaks as needed, but try to complete all 20. Last exercise, we've got 
20 back kick out. So this is an amazing hamstring exercise. So you're gonna be on your hands and knees, but you're gonna go on your elbows. You're gonna put out your leg behind you and you're gonna straighten it and then bend it. So this exercise really targets the hamstring. You can add some weight to your ankle, like an ankle weight to really grow the muscle. But I like to do it with no weight because I still feel it and it helps just tone up the back of your legs. So we're doing 20 to each side. Again, make sure your back is straight, your core is tight, and the motion is coming only from your leg. Let's try this to the other side. So again, remember, put your leg out behind you, straighten it off, come back in. Go nice and slow, don't rush through this exercise. When you go slow, you can really feel the muscle working and it helps you establish that mind and muscle connection, which is absolutely necessary if you want to target the right muscles. today's leaner legs workout let me know what you guys thought about today's style of video I know I don't usually do voiceovers but I feel like a voiceover allows me to go a lot more into detail on the form of the exercise and how to do it correctly because while I'm doing the exercise I tend to forget some things or I'm focused on actually you know working out with you guys so let me know if you like this style of video or if you like the other one better where I just kind of talk while I'm doing it or if you like both, I can just keep incorporating both. That would be totally fine. Let me know your feedback in the comments below. And don't forget to shop all the new Women's Best Protein Bar flavors. The link is in my description. If you choose to shop through my link, thank you so much for your support. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Also, I am doing a bikini body challenge in May. So make sure you have your post notifications turned on. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on that. Oh yeah.